while I'm tearing up a game of golf, I may make a play for the caddy, but when I do, I don't follow through. Heart belongs to daddy. Some good scout invites me out, dine on some fine vin and hammy. I just adore, he's asking for more. Heart belongs to daddy. My heart belongs to daddy. So I simply could not be bad. My heart belongs to daddy. Daddy mine. If you feel romantic, laddie, let me warn you right from the start. Cause my heart belongs to daddy and my daddy belongs to my Swazilia. They say smudge. I don't know where that came from. Nobody knows where that term came from, smudge. Uh, but it's, it has to do with incense and washing. <clears throat> and so Wavy asked me to smoke down the circle. We also say smoke down like that. Um, and this just washes. If you're not familiar, smoke is a spiritual essence that will wash you clean. Uh, smoke never goes away. It just dissipates smaller and smaller and smaller. And so in a lot of native ways, you see we use a lot of different smokes. We smoke pipes and we smoke this. And it's not about ingesting something. It's about uh, giving something out to the world in a prayer. And it rides on that smoke. So I'm going to go around Sunwise. And uh, everybody get some of the smoke on you and just wash off with it. Spots over there, there's a spot here. There's a spot here, there's a spot here, Silva. If I squeeze in. Three. You don't need to be in the periphery. Share forgiveness and to help for I can and love everybody. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. In my memory, there have been years of camp that were 100% pure joy. And there are some years where it's been a little bit less than 100%. But what it has always been is intense. <laughs> 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 say thank you all so much um, I feel that I've you know I've, I've been coming to camp since I was a kid and you know coming on the adult staff and whatnot I've had to you know, I've been trying to be an adult but what, what y'all have shown me is that adult camp is really kids camp kids camp is adult camp <laughs> in our consciousness and in the work that we do. And then whenever we go to ceremony, it's in heightened, enhanced and heightened. And that's what it's like coming to camp. Everything that we are becomes 
enhanced or heightened and other stuff gets peeled away and so we become uh, more available to the creative source that is Mother Earth and the universe and all kinds of magical things can happen and I'm really grateful I've been coming here 25 years uh, I grew up at camp because <laughs> when I got here I thought I knew so much yeah. and uh, being in this environment has taught me a lot so I really appreciate the stories that get told because everybody here is a living story we're all living out our own oral tradition every moment of every day <laughs> and uh, I just hope and pray that everyone here, all of us lefties, will go out and find some of our right-wing fundamentalist friends and drag them to camp. Yeah. Uh, I would love to see Dick Cheney on the trapeze. <laughs> 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 Hanging by the neck. So thank you all. <laughs> and she's a storyteller and she was, she's also a great salesperson because she was selling my t-shirts and my CDs and <laughs> making that happen, which was really pretty cool. Um, and during the Festival at the Edge, which was a year ago last weekend, we were talking and she said, yeah, I'm working on this grant. I might be coming over to America, blah, blah, blah. And sure enough, it started to work out. She got the grant, Winston Churchill something or other. Winston Churchill uh, Traveling Fellowship. Traveling Fellowship. Mm -hmm. So she's already been on Turtle Island for one month. And she managed to come out here to the left coast to spend some time with us tell stories tonight and then tomorrow we're going up to Camp Winter Rainbow and she's going to tell stories for the kids tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be pretty sweet. And then Sunday she gets on a plane and back to the East Coast and on her way. When I first met her, I was I did a bunch of other story tells, not just at Fate, but uh, around about London and uh, Hammersmith and a couple other little towns. We went down to a little town, Yule? Yule. Uh, this woman, uh, Janet Dowling, who was, I was staying at her and her husband's place. Went down, so I did a story tell with their local group, and uh, her, uh, Red Phoenix, and her friend, and they kept popping off and making comments, and we were having fun during the story tell. I mean, they didn't interrupt, but, uh, so afterwards, we are all breaking up and leaving, and here's uh, Terry and uh, Belinda, and Janet walks up and says, Robert, I want you to meet Mischief and Mayhem. <laughs> and then they followed us to the Faith Festival. <laughs> Actually, they were already scheduled to be there. So we don't have mischief and mayhem, but we do have some mischief in the house. <laughs> All right. uh, and I guess without any further ado, I want to introduce my friend, Red Phoenix, Terry Howie. Red Phoenix, going to tell stories. <laughs> the costume barn, find a character. We like actual characters that you get to caricaturize. Put it on so, the reserve rack. Put it on the reserve rack. Uh, talk to uh, Amy in there. Um, a become a character. Starman. Become a star. Provides become some celebrity to... person. Jesus, what is your you guys want to talk? Okay. <laughs> Be a celebrity person is what we like. Or someone from history. There's plenty of costumes. You become somebody. After dinner, we line up on the red carpet. I don't know who, what character is going to be there tonight, but Mr. Gravy will invite a special character to interview you as you're coming into this grand screening, big special event, Hollywood style. You get to be seeing yourself up on the big screen, you'll be on camera, then you come in and you schmooze or have now rub elbows with all the other celebrities. We see some film clips, it's a really lovely screening. I don't think Paramount could come close. I've been to a few just bragging up <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I was. I, I watched the red carpet. What film? Uh, it was Judges. called Real, uh, the Real Engines. Real Engines. Yeah. Um, talk about that later. Uh, just bragging. Ah, are you sure? Tell me. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Thanks, <laughs> mom. I was bragging a moment. Let me brag a little. Um, so sure, then we watch the film, and the judges, the panel judges, will give us their critique of the film. Uh, paparazzi will be around taking pictures, having fun like that. We enjoy the evening, and then we watch a full length feature when it's all done. That's kind of a quick cap of it. I don't want to get too flowery and spend too much time because I'm sorry, maybe I don't know about you. Yeah. You want to bring warm clothes? Yeah, you should probably dress warm. Think about your costume to keep bring you a warm, blanket. to keep you comfortable. You can bring a pillow down there because we kind of lounge about in the uh, big top. And we'll talk about it more in the next Oh, yeah. How we doing? Everybody ready? And for the kitchen, remember, Mom.
wrong age. So, uh, that's good. Talk about it. That's good. That's deep, honey. That's very deep. Uh, yeah. That's deep. Yeah. I understand they're going to be remaking this movie, and I'm up for the lead part. I am so excited. Sunshine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Now, old uh, Gurdjieff says if a prayer is to work, you gotta utter it three times. So, help me out this time. May the long time sunshine. May the long time sunshine upon you, all love surround you, all love surround you. And if your life within you guide your guide your way on. Last time. May the long time sunshine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Namaste. One more time, thank you, Wavy Gravy. Good morning. And now let's get our morning teachers up on Good luck. <laughs>
Time for Sister Kathy, Carmel, and Moon Puppy. Make some noise! Carmel and Moon Puppy and Sister Kathy is the name of the song. It's all becoming clear to me. <laughs> shelter of my mind through the window of my eyes I gaze beyond the rain drenched streets to England where my heart lies my mind's distracted and diffused <laughs> My thoughts are many miles away They lie with you when you're asleep Kiss you when you go to bed And the song I was writing is left undone I don't know why I spent my time writing songs I can't believe words that tear and strain to rhyme and so you see I've come to doubt all that I once held is true I stand alone without beliefs The only truth I know is you And as I watch the drops of rain Weave their weary paths and die I know that I am The grace of you go on. Bravo! 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 And now I say unto you, Bertram, if you got them, return your costumes, sir. And I'll see you tomorrow for breakfast. Them bacon and eggs. If you guys only knew how good them bacon and eggs really was, you'd stop writing poetry and dig in. Great show. Good night, everybody. Yeah! Woo! Hey, 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 great job, man. <laughs>